Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is Hi, I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome. Thanks for joining us as we continue our annual 31 Days of Oscar Festival. Now, coming up, we have all five of the films nominated for Oscar's Best Picture Prize during the Academy's third season of giving awards, beginning with the movie that was judged the best of the entire bunch. And that movie is All Quiet on the Western Front from Universal in 1930, which, after all these years, still stands as really one of the most powerful anti-war movies that's ever been made. It stars Lou Ayers, who was very much a movie newcomer at the time, a handsome, likable fellow, barely out of his teens, though, and somebody with very little acting experience. Well, it was George Cukor who was instrumental in Ayers being in the film, this long before Cukor's days as a movie director. He actually was the dialogue director on this movie, All Quiet on the Western Front, and he's the one that suggested Lou Ayers should be tested for a minor role in the movie. But when the film's director, Louis Milestone, saw that test, he said, that boy airs. He's perfect for the lead. And indeed, he was given the lead, which is the most important role in the film. Now, this movie, based on a great novel by Eric Maria Remarque, made Lou Ayers an immediate movie star at the age of 21. The film itself went on to become an international hit and earn Oscar's highest award as Best Picture of the Year. The amazing thing is that during its 140-minute running time, yeah, there are battle scenes, but not a single glorification of combat. There are no heroics. No dashing charges, no thrill of victory. Just the message that no matter what side you're on, war is grim for those who have to fight it. One critic wrote, the League of Nations could do no better than make an investment to buy the master print of this movie, reproduce it in every language for every nation to show every year until the word war is taken out of dictionaries. Well, the film was shown everywhere and has always been enormously liked. But the sad thing is that despite the strong anti-war message it delivers, we're still fighting wars. Here's from 1930, All Quiet on the Western Front.